Welcome to video 10, we'll be looking at graphs and the performance tab. So for this video we are actually going to go into my production NetXMS server where I have much more nodes than on my test server which we were using up until now. And this is just so we have more data to play around with. So we'll be looking at the HP switches, you can see I have six of them here. And we have a standard HP switch template, it's very similar to what we have been working with before. The only difference is these switches actually have two temperature sensors, so I've added both temperature sensors onto the template. Also I have added a software version monitoring DCI onto this template. So I have temperature here on every single switch from both temperature sensors and I have CPU usage and some other stuff and what I see here is the last value so the value that was collected from the last data collection poll but what if I want to see the historical values this is what graphs are used for and you can just click on any single data collection item in the last values tab and just do line chart and you can see this will actually give me a historical graph right with a single click and I can configure what resolution, what interval for the graph I want to see. So if I do one day you can see that the CPU usage for this switch has been pretty good with an average of about 5% and a maximal spike to about 18. Let's do this for let's say 5 days. Ok, it looks pretty good, spikes to 21%, average 5%. If I want to actually see both temperature sensors on a single graph, I can do that as well, just select both of them and do a line chart. And you can actually see that both of them are exactly the same, 60 degrees. And if you look at the last five days, uh, they are, the values are exactly the same for both sensors. So let's do a different thing. Let's graph the CPU usage and RAM usage. Here we can actually see properly two lines as we should for both of the values. Each graph has a bunch of properties of course which you can configure and we will look at these in advanced video but what I want to show you mainly is that you can save graphs as predefined graphs so if we do well, let's do OK this and let's give it CPU and RAM. So now if I go into the graphs view I can see a pre-saved graph right here with my values just double click and there we go. One thing which I do want to show you though is that you can actually create a structure inside of predefined graphs by using this syntax. So you can see that this actually created a switches folder you could say inside of the predefined graphs so I can actually delete this one and now I could organize my predefined graphs in any way that I actually want. As I mentioned we will look at advanced graph properties in an advanced video but in this video I also want to show you the performance tab. So ideally if I have many switches like this, if I have six switches and I want to see temperature graphs for all of them I could make a predefined graph or I could go into every single one and click etc but I need to see it fast and this is what the performance tab is for. You can see I already have a single graph on the performance tab defined which is the latency graph and now if I just click or change the node I can see the latency graph for that node right away. So I'm going to show you how to do this for the other DCIs. We will of course do this on the template so it's automatically configured on all of our switches and what you actually do is you go into DCI configuration you select the DCI which you want to appear on the performance tab and there is a section here called performance tab so we'll click show on performance tab give it a name let's select the color you can of course define any custom colors or use predefined ones nice. this will be an area chart and actually one thing I want to do is since this is a percentage I want to log this to be from 1 to 100. OK. Let's do the same for temperature. Well, let's give it this color. And we'll leave the scaling the y-axis to automatic. And let's uh, look at how that looks for us. So if I now go to in, into performance tab I can see the graphs 
for for the things that I've configured. But like I mentioned, I actually have two temperature sensors for each switch, so I don't want in the performance tab to have two actual graphs, I want the temperature sensors to be grouped on a single graph, so I can do this as well. I don't even have to give it a title or anything else, I will simply attach it to another DCI, so I will attach temperature 2 to temperature 1. Ok, let's see if that worked for us. I can actually see both of the temperature graphs inside of a single graph. Again, the values, as you can see, for both temperature sensors are exactly the same, so I can see the two different lines, but you can see from the little description down here that there are actually two DCIs on this graph. And the last thing I want to do is do RAM. So let's do RAM usage here, and also from 1 to 100. Okay. And here we go. Now if I just click on every single one of my nodes, I can see the last values graph instantly. You can play with all the options you see here, I think they are pretty self-explanatory. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one, which is on the DCI summary tables.